Hey there, everybody, and welcome to episode 17 of the Artifacts Act. I'm Icon, and we're going to finish that mini-universe today. At least I hope so. I mean, all the other smaller building projects have been done now. We're also going to see that our other dudes and dudettes here get closer to their primordial spirit stage. Zhang Zhong, the weakest golden core in town, is going to be on adventures. We're basically, we basically have it all sorted out right now. Junju is my, is a little bit of a uh, question mark for me though. She's so good at exploring places, but she's also my strongest golden core as of yet. So, well, I'm not sure about how to, how to go towards there yet. So, success not available. That means it ain't a golden core yet. I'm a little bit, uh... Traumatized. <laughs> oh, we have unlocked something. The Celestial Pool. This is where we can find Life Spring. Let's send Junju over there. I know that this wasn't a overly spectacular map, but a bit of Life Spring lengthen is good for lengthening the lifetime of people. Pretty solid stuff. Ah, oh, there's a Lushu. Lushu bring. A sunny day weather. As long as they are around, they'll go after a while too. Okay. Junju already arrived at that place. That's good. <clears throat> I really want to stay on track now and uh, explore all the places that I uncover. And probably for the next immortal run, I want to go faster to that point where I'm capable of uh, nuking away the monsters on these maps because I personally feel as if that does make a insane change in terms of uh, development speed of your sect. Once you have access to the entirety of each adventure map, you are so much stronger. I mean, it's a little bit uh, stupid in a way too that there is no difficulty level between those maps. Basically, the demon beasts on all maps in the entire world are equally strong. There is no scaling. They don't grow stronger over time, no nothing. Just uh, always core shaper beasts everywhere. And that's just that. I mean, I got used to it, but it's something I really would like if it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like that. The uniformity of, of this is a little bit sad. Maybe there's a mod for that, though. who knows. I never uh, really content modded this game yet. Woo! Get away. I think that's going to be one of my next projects. What do you guys think about that? Feel free to drop me a comment about it. I already have a list of uh, content expanding mods that I want to try out. Well. Considering that this monster had 7,000 chi, this went down quite quickly. And we are gathering a couple of extra materials, so that never hurts. I'm just re-exploring the entire map one more time, because I actually think there was only the life spring in the middle of the map, but... Since we now have that beautiful target uh, menu, I want to try out if I can find something new. Blood Nine. What a name. Where are your brethren? Where's, how's Blood Three? Questions and no answers. Well. Eh. Ah, here is the uh, actual place where I need to click. Very conclusive. <laughs> All right, so I can't pick up only one more item. That's gonna be the 50 stack of uh, demon beast hide for sure. And let's completely explore that place. And then let's check out if I missed out anything ever here. Oh, come on you, you filthy frog. How many demon beasts does this place have? Four of them, a place to farm them actually. Okay. There we go. 
This is an extre extremely small crater, though. Okay. So, here's the life spring. And let's check out if there's anything else in here. Beast blood. Yeah, no. Okay, I just wanted to know if that's all that you can look for. I mean, this is a little bit sad because this stuff only brings you 99 years of extra lifetime, which is, it sounds much for a normal human being, but in terms of cultivation items, this is actually one of the weakest life uh, expanders, if not the weakest. Is there anything weaker than that? can't think of anything right now but i think there might be something like phoenix flesh or or some of these uh, small monster parts which come <clears throat> which come in uh, even smaller uh would come in with the even smaller numbers so i was just considering that since june is now no longer at the point where I feel like he, he needs that place. I, I'm I'm considering to uh, to con to cultivate Junju at this point because we're running out of places to center. I mean, there's still the Great Bamboo Forest. I could check out that place too. Don't feel like new content right now because, as a matter of fact, I, I have never tried out the Bamboo DLC yet. Shame on me, but. One thing at a time. Let's head over to Alchemist's Peak too. But then I think it's about time to give Junju that cultivation place back. And she's basically going to cultivate towards the Primordial Spirit or go adventuring whenever we uncover a new area. I think that's a good thing to do. Okay. Elysium mod is really a breeze for cultivating. Uh, well, let's leave the mortal realm alone for now. <clears throat> We're very close to the 500 reputation anyway. I don't need to force it. The higher the reputation, the stronger the enemies. That's basically the gist of it. Let's get in there. Now, Alchemist's Peak, I vaguely remember that this place had also a couple of uh, monsters in store. But the most uh, attractive thing here was the Junk Pill. Only pick up the purple colored ones, so highest tier of them. And you can increase the... You can increase the maximum chi of a cultivator when you eat those least once. Problem is, they are junk, like the name implies. They have side effects. You will need a fire powder, because your character will suffer from a lot of uh, fire damage. I'm not sure, there must be also a miracle which heals that, but I don't know which one that was. Um, there's a couple of things in this game which I still need to check out. For example, which healing ritual heals which kind of wound. This game is very specific with all manner of different things, and I haven't uh, checked these out yet thoroughly, but one thing at a time. Oh, that's bad. Actually, it's not bad. Pretty much one of the best things that can happen to you that the map is infested with bunnies. Because demon beast bunnies are among the most harmless ones HP-wise. They really go down quite quickly. Okay. Oh, we need to get a new suffix here. So, we're going to stay the sect. Hey, there's two selections for a sect. Strange. We're the artifact sect, and I won't change that. Okay, our maximum population amount has, uh, has expanded. So from now on, I can pick up a lot more powders. Double the amount! Ow. I ran right into the demon beast. 
atrocious earth. Let's make a run for it. Ah, okay, she got attacked. Whenever this icon here is no longer black, but white like here, your cultivator has been attacked and he has aggro from the, um, from the monster. And you just need to click that thing once until the aggro is on somebody else and then you can't re-engage. This game is weird like that. It took me a lot of time until somebody finally pointed out how, how this works. All the best stuff comes from the comment section of these videos. Can only uh, recommend you to check them out whenever you have time for it. Okay, I'll, I'll pick up the beast blood in this scenario. And I don't think that there's anything else here that I would want to have. Oops. Now that I can have an a exact readout about what items are in the visible part of the map, I, I feel I have a new urge to explore these maps completely. At least once, you know. So that we all know what's to be found here. But it's only those junk pills and the demon beast hide. I wonder if these junk pills are bought by the merchant. Probably only for one spirit stone each, though. So it's not like that. Okay. Well, let's see how quickly June does develop his skills. And, ah, uh, yeah, we have yet again a, a jade stove that doesn't get built. So. Stove, stove. These problems won't be problems anymore quite soonish. Because with the mini universe, the uh, materials necessary for the construction will always be deposited automatically. Which is exactly what costs a lot of bucks sometimes when you want to reconstruct something. I don't know why, but the game is just. Uh, Sometimes not delivering the items to a work spot. Just have to tear it down and uh, try it again. Okay, June is reaching the 16k for the Golden Core Breakthrough rather quickly. So... Mm, I'm going to send Junju one more time to Purple Cloud Palace. Because I've been told that I missed the rooms with the talismans, and I want to leave that room available for June until he's uh, done with accumulating the necessary experience here. <clears throat> he won't take that much longer. And it'll be so much of a benefit for him if I let him. Because then I can just uh, pre prepare him to, to break for later when, when spring's over. With some luck, we might be even able to just scrape on the uh, tier 1 golden core with, with some luck. I'm not sure. Probably need to spectre refine a couple of things first. But we're going to see. So first off, did I did I find anything? Yes, I I actually did miss that. Ah, thanks for reminding me, guys. All right. So let's see. They they actually don't mind about that because I've been told that this might be looking like a sect area, but it ain't actually really property of the sect. So. I wonder if I'm allowed to just uh, pick these up with without any consequences. Enlightening pill, fasting pill, sprout pill, boosts cultivation speed. Well, I'm mostly interested in these remedy pills, and well, they don't want to kill me for anything, so. Seems like they're okay with me picking these things up. Awesome. 
And I'll pick up the Sprout Pills too, because they actually really do matter a lot. Okay, insane. So, here we go, guys. That's the uh, hidden power of the DLCs. They give, you a, a, they give you access to such crazy good amounts of items. So, we can now upgrade our sect by a lot with that uh, talisman paper we got there. Okay. That's really, really cool. With that being said, it's about, it's really about time that my Golden Core cultivators learn to spectre refine and get some uh, proper skills going. So there's the Kunlun competition. Well, let's just hope we're going, not going to win it. It's uh, weird like that. But when you win the Kunlun competition with a Golden Core Cultivator, because the stats are so good or anything like that, you get an insane reputation spike. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? But you don't really want that. So let's see, let's trade ourselves some access with these people. Uh, and let's adventure over there. As soon as Junju is back home, I'm gonna send Junju. This will keep her busy until uh, June is finally done with his stuff. Oh, Pearlwood Rainforest. Never mind then. There's another place to explore. Okay, then we're going to send. I'll send Yanyun. She can't take a break from her cultivation. That's okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Because like I said, adventuring right now has a very high priority for me. Whenever I unlock these new areas, I want to I want to gather what I can there. This way, we should be able to grow way fast and powerful. Zhang Zhang found Ganoderma. That's good, because I, I ain't got that much of it. You want to drink Spring of Life. <laughs> ah, the, the mushroom house is finally done. So we need to put up a roof over that. It's really important. And after that... And it's spring, perfect timing. Okay, grow some mushrooms in there. Mainly for the dog. All the best for my dog. Now, let's send her in there. I can't remember what in Pearlwood Rainforest had, uh, was to be found. There's also a weird uh, puzzle with, with these ancient steelies all over the world. I, I have no clue how to solve that. I, can, I only know that there are a couple of places in this uh, world which you need to... Where you need to click these steelies while your character is tripping, basically. Not, not physically, but mentally, you know. There are uh, hallucinogenic mushrooms which you can collect and... Uh, can only make sense out of that stuff if you're a bit really high on drugs. Enjoy Cultivation China. So. I vaguely remember this map. There's a couple of huts in the forest with a weird loot. I mean, we can pick up the sheet music and the gold uh, boards if we want to. Trader does buy them for a quite decent amount of money. But at the end of the day, it's not the most interesting loot of all. Rather pick the demon pots here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we will find here. I somehow remember that I found some costly pill or anything like that in here. Bare light. Sorry, guy, you're still looking quite heavy. 
Okay. Let's wait for the dog to tank him and get him there. And this is where the uh, 290 attack power of Junju are reaching its uh, their uh, their order of their hour. This does just take way too much. But well, what can I do? So it's going to be quite interesting to pick up these things. So I'm not in the mood to experiment around here. So I think that was one of these uh, steelies, or exactly one of them steelies I'm talking about. So if you're interacting with them, nature is divided into reality and delusion. Man belongs to the former. So yeah, this is uh, basically, I think this was the one where you needed the hallucinogenics. And there's a regen pill hidden in the in the corner here. Nice. Checking out the forests. Definitely worth it. And what do we have here? Chief flow pill. Ah, curing spirit attack injuries. Yeah, why not? So I suppose that was all that ha that I would find here. Check out the target menu one more time. There's ginkgo fruit in the corner here. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe I can pick it up like that. So beast blood and hide. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, I'll, I really like this uh, new target menu. It, it really eases up a lot of things, user interface-wise. <clears throat> I really enjoy the workarounds the developers found there to make everything work more smoothly. Version 1.2 of the game is truly a, a good version. Things went into exactly the right direction with that patch. I mean, I assume that this engine has its limits, or how, or, or that software, however that works for the devs. But yeah, I'm really happy to see that there is some some cool work on all these things. Okay, now, sadly, Junju is at the point where she she can't explore new places anymore because we don't have any more new places to explore. By the way, Mondolumbo, Zhang, you can you can leave those people alone. They don't have anything for us anymore. Okay. We're going to send Junju just over to Mount Baron. A couple of tours. Until we have found something new. Or June is finally done with blocking the cultivation chamber. I'd rather send her to do something useful. Kunlun competition! Let's go for the sword duel. Yeah, she didn't manage to win there, but she gained inspiration XP. Not the most horrible thing to happen. Gaining a advanced law out of that is uh, possible, but quite unlikely. Oh god. They are constructing all manner of useless things all the time, instead of constructing the mini-universe. But I don't want to cancel these uh, fertile soil jobs. They are, well, they aren't use useless, they're just uh, taking way too long. So... There's a fresh chi-shaping rock here on town. Fascinating. And concerning. Okay, one more thing. Now that the pond here is done. Uh, yep. Yeah.
don't know if these still count as water fields or not. Hard to discern. Lotus. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, dying man on the road. Let's give him some spirit stone. That's also a reason why I don't like to give away all my spirit stone. Shodong needs a farming tool. Let's produce a farming tool for the poor guy. And also, there must be a piece of demon hide clothing that has slipped my tension here. You know, June, life also comes with pants now. Enjoy. Okay. There we go. More and more people in the City of Abundance are coming together. Oh, we got we got the Dragon Cliff inscriptions. Yay! Alright, let's uh, immediately send Jinju back. Body cultivation time! <clears throat> is this now a demon a demon beast or yes it is. Oh my god. We need to put it down. Oh it hurts somebody. Okay. Wouldn't be too cool if any of my outers would walk uh, in there unprepared. Oh man, that mini universe is taking forever. That's okay though. It'll bring us so many benefits once it's done, so I'm totally okay with that. Now, Dragon Cliff inscriptions. There we go. Zhang is actually right now the fastest uh, kid in town. Take that game. I actually sent the wrong person away. Eh, well, whatever. Then Junju can repeat her cotton gathering adventures. Won't be long until he's done, but cotton is also good. Cotton is direct money. Free money, money. And we're in early phases of spring. Okay. These are some mad turtles. They're aggressive. Don't ask me why. The game sometimes spawns aggressive animals on the map. And I got no clue why. If anybody knows, send help. Okay, Dragon Cliff Inscriptions. This is exactly where I wanted to be because now we got the Primordial Unity Body Law, which is the body cultivation law for human beings. Okay. There's a couple of enemies here. Let's take down that. Pretty sure. Yay! June got 600 points of experience. Let's not spend it all at once. Well, jokes aside, he's almost there. Okay, how's Nyanyun's progress? <sighs> Pretty fast, actually. Nice. We get in there, boys. We get in there. We will receive or achieve, I should rather say, achieve the primordial spirit stage for our first cultivators rather sooner than later, which is a good thing. June is now waiting for the last hundred XP for his uh, mental state, uh, for his mental equilibrium, but that's okay. It's one of the downsides of the Elysium mod. So Zhang's back home. 
We gonna send him now over to Mount Tiger Paw and explore that place. Or Mount Pitfall. Eh, let's go Mount Pitfall. Specific reasons. Okay. Pitfall is an evil sect. We have to be careful with those. He wants to eat ice crystal powder. No thanks. Stop that. So we ha we'll have to handle them with care. Evil sects can do really bad things to your people if you are not careful with them. So let's be careful with them. But the other thing is Mount Pitfall yields a location where you can gather Lumina cores. And Lumina cores are basically the only resource I know of you can build a decent water cultivator's room out of. So I'm interested in unlocking that next. So dear friends, that's the end of today's episode. I enjoyed myself quite a lot today and we'll get in there. Next episode actually Junju will go towards Primordial Spirit. I can't wait. I'm really really I'm really excited about that because a Gen 2, uh, a tier 2 golden core should be capable of doing a couple of good things there. June will in the meantime be the cotton messenger for the sect because honestly I love to gather that cotton. And yeah, also the time is right for expansions of the sect itself. Outer Disciples Hope. We got so much extra workforce available. So as soon as the mini universe is done we might also want to scale up our production. Body cultivation is up ahead too, so there's plenty of things to go for. Drop me your comments down below. I'd be super happy to hear from you what you guys think about this episode or whatever you might want to say. And leave a thumbs up on that series to make it more visible to the rest of the YouTube. And of course, check out my channel if you haven't done so already. There's daily content coming up there to various games I like. Of course, ACS as well. And you just need to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to stay informed about all the things I do. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.